I'll go with um, Canada. Canada, baby. Okay. <laughs> China? No. Nope. No, India, probably. No. Really? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to stop now or are you going to keep going? Is it just European country? Give me a hint here. Canada, Denmark, England, okay. France, <laughs> Ireland, Netherlands, New Zealand, Scotland, On Wales. Four is our boys well, finals. Scotland and Wales are part Robert of the UK. Hugh, Kevin Zell, Rick Lee, hey, I didn't Brent write Hall. this wiki page. <laughs> you can go edit it later. That was a trick four. question. Life is a trick question. We are ready for the men's singles. They are on court. As you can see in front of us here. As we go, we've got Victor Lai, Jason Hoshu sharing a handshake. Got a pretty good view of that uh, Olympics tattoo on Jason's right arm. Yes, sir. So clearly he's gone. So Jason is the number one seed for this tournament. Victor Lai is the 3-4. He upset B.R. St. Kirth in the semifinal. A uh, bit of a crazy game that one was. Oh my goodness. He took the first one very decisively, I believe it was 21-10. And he was up 17 on so seven in the second game. Final. And Sang came all the way back. Saved several match ten. points, but uh, ended Seven up losing 28-26. It was really an incredible turnaround. Um, yeah, it was from 17-7 to 19-all. Victor Lai kind of, and it was, it was weird. It wasn't like a huge momentum shift or anything. It was just kind of, like Victor hit a couple out, Sank hit a couple good attacking shots, and then he maybe got some tumbles, and Victor hit a couple of and then all of a sudden it was 19-all. It happened very quietly. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. So Jason is from uh, Ontario, of course, uh, representing E. Babton Club. He's only 23 years old, uh, but with the amount of championships he has to his name, you might think he's a little bit older. He actually uh, won his first national championships when he was the same age that Victor Lai is right now, 17 years old. And he's from... Uh, Mandarin Babson also out of Ontario. Their head-to-head -head is only 1-0 in men's singles, uh, where Jason won their last meeting 21-7, 21-8 in the 2019 Ontario Elite, when Victor would have only been 14. So that, I would say, is not going to come into play today. Um, he's developed a ton in those three years much more uh, much different player he's on the national team now he's, he's played some international competitions including the most recent um, Thomas Cup and of course Jason played as well and like we were pointing out earlier Jason uh, played men's doubles at the most recent Olympics with uh, Neely Okura uh, and they are no longer a partnership. Uh, but uh, yeah, here he is in the uh, men's singles final. So clearly he can play several events. And uh, like we were saying earlier, uh, Jason actually has two coaches behind him that aren't his normal coaches. I believe, am I wrong in that? You are correct in that. We on the right there. You can see in the gray tracksuit. We've got Sandy Arto from Clear One Badminton in Richmond, a great men's doubles player back in his day for Indonesia. And then uh, Rylan, why don't you tell us who the other guy is? So we have uh, Dale Kinley coming from Manitoba, who uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time coaching out in BC, uh, probably with Sandy. Um, but now they are coaching Jason. Interesting to see. Some interprovincial uh, coaching there. Forgive us for not knowing the name of Victor Lai's coach, but he is just off screen there. We'll see him at the intervals. So a good start for Jason there. Nice to pump a smash down the line on the first rally of the match, eh? 
It's always a great feeling. And I imagine that's what we'll see him trying to do all match. He's quite an aggressive player. I would say Victor is more of a uh, controlling player. He has uh, unbelievable control and deceptions, as we're seeing right now. Those are two very nice holds. Got his racket out there nice and early in front of him, made it look like he was going to hit it, and then just hesitated for a split second, kind of throwing off the timing of Jason's footwork, who, of course, was able to recover, but it makes it harder to hit good quality shot when you're just recovering your balance. Yeah, we saw that a lot yesterday. Victor was hitting a lot of holds. I were really catching Sankirth off foot, whereas Jason uh, played uh, Joshua Nguyen yesterday, and... Uh, also two straight games, and it, to me it really looked like he overpowered him with his explosiveness and his uh, attacking shots. Bit of a fun fact is that uh, Josh Newt is only 16, so Jason's last uh, <laughs> two competitors are both uh, under 18. Which is great to see for the future of uh, yeah. development in badminton in Canada. What a winning shot that was. Speaking of them both being so young, the under 17, under 19, under 23 national championships will be held just in a few days here from the 7th to 10th. Of course, Victor Lai and Joshua Nguyen will be playing in those. We could well see them in the final playing each other. from Victor. Very good judgment. Nice and asking to change the bird there. That one went out when he hit it. Doesn't want to play with that one anymore. Thank you. You might have been blocking uh, blocking your view of that shot, but that was another great hold from Victor Lai. Reaching up for the shuttle and then dropping his racket as if he was going to hit something to the rear court, but then softening up those fingers again to hit a soft shot. Okay, little little look towards Jason there after as well. A little bit of a stare down. Singles of the event sometimes turns into more of a mind game than the others. I'm not saying that's what we're getting here, but got some potential. Such a smooth overhead hitting motion from July. Yeah, when you see him hit, when you see him swing, you kind of wonder how it could ever not go where he wants it to go, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> what, what else is going to happen? Grunt on that smash from Jason. Yeah, that's the doubles player in him as well. Gotta admire the maturity here of Victor Lai, though, eh? Playing in the senior nationals final. Five ball hanging in there. Really well. Most immature part about him might be wearing red shorts with an orange shirt. <laughs> attack there. You okay? Sorry, I just uh, noticed that earlier, but I didn't want to point it out. I'm going to point that out. <laughs> Blue shoes, too? Clashing outfit. It's okay. <laughs> Clothing choices will come. <laughs> you can see uh, Jason plan his outfit. No sleeves to show off the Olympic statue. Just the power and 
preparation to explode on a smash in that jump and then to totally lay off and hit such a nice controlled cross court drop shot. That's a shot you cannot hit when you're nervous. So I think that says yeah. how he's feeling. I can, can't really hit that anytime. So <laughs> you're definitely right on that one. We are in a very nice venue here for Babington Millennium Place in Sherwood Park, Alberta. The ceiling, as you can tell, is quite high. You can't, well, you can maybe see there's a there's a black mesh net that's probably 35 feet high above the court, which sometimes there's been some shuttle stuck in. Uh, but yeah. We haven't seen that today. Not today, yeah. Whereas for the most part, uh, I would say this is a fantastic venue. Yeah, they did a great job. It's not a dedicated badminton facility in this area. Um, so the tournament organizers did an unbelievable job uh, setting us up, and we're really thankful to uh, Strathcona County and Millennium Place and uh, the government of Alberta and, well, Badminton Canada generally, right? Uh, they did a fantastic job, and they all, it's great to see everyone come together to make such an amazing event. First time in two years happen. Ooh. Gave it a shot. That's something we've seen come into play. Or we're seeing come into play. Uh, maybe uh, Jason's defense is a bit stronger. Or his attack is a bit stronger. Whenever I've been watching Victor lie this week, it's like, he's playing and he looks really good. I'm like, yeah. And then I look at the scoreboard and he's winning. That was close. Good pickup. Some good play from Jason. What I mean to say is Victor scores his points sometimes uh, a little bit quietly. Like you might not notice. You've just scored five points yeah. in a row or something. Whereas Jason will hit a winner and tend to remember those more than a lift that lands in, for example, right? Yeah, that's true. a bit short. Whoa! That block was pretty short too. <laughs> that was perfect. Just over the net. Gives and a bit of a sheepish look to his coach there. As if to say, uh, got away with that one, but next time I'll know to hit that a bit deeper. That's amazing control on that shot. Victor just hit that backhand pop cross there. something um, I, d I don't know how often Victor and Jason have played you know not in Canadian ranking tournaments the matches that we don't know about on our stats here but to hit a great attacking shot like that and then have your opponent lift it super well back over your head and you got to stop your forward momentum and go backwards again is, is quite challenging but he is handling that very well he's up 11-8 yeah, this is a great start. So what do you think these coaches are saying right now, Brandon? Well. On court five is our final U11 boys doubles. Those last few arm swings from Victor Lai's coach maybe telling him to keep the, keep the pace on. Mm -hmm. We come in and hit a few drives and instead of more softer shots, but I might not be sure. I think whatever he's doing is working pretty good. In. Pretty good. What do you think Jason's going to try to do here? I think he should play a little more aggressive and try and counterattack a little more. 
this is very rally style right now. Yeah, which this suits is just Victor. Kind of, yeah, this suits Victor more. So he can do this all day. Yep. Wait for his chance to play a tight one. There's just so much spin on that net shot. And and then when there's more, if you're not sure, uh, for those of you watching at home, when there's more spin, it takes longer for the bird to flip over. And of course, you want to hit it on the cork. So if it's not flipping over, then and you hit this just the feather, you can get a terrible lift out of that. So you have to wait. The more spin, you got to wait to catch it lower. It makes it more difficult. Another nice shot there, but it's just gone long. Tried to do a little bit too much. But, uh, such a fine balance, right? Everything about the sport. You want to be aggressive, but you can't be too aggressive because then you make mistakes. And you want to play with some deception and some holds, but you can't do too much because then they might get used to it, or again, you might make errors. And yeah. It's a fine line, every little aspect of the game. Victor, very casual here, just. Playing it around. It's 13-9 when we've been doing this. I'll just keep doing it. That one's dropped right on the line. It's great control. Jason needs to take our advice here quickly before this game is gone. <laughs> Sandy Arto there saying the same thing. Hit it down. Let's be aggressive. Let's go. Especially since Jason is on the faster side. That means the smashes might come a little harder. You just want to play that control game as much. Oh, that looked like a couple different things happened on that last shot. He was ready to take it kind of semi late because he was kind of behind in the rally and then waited a little longer because he thought it might be going out, but then realized it was in. That's more like it from Jason. Mm. That's a bit of the same, well, it is the same story as when Sankir, the second seed, correct, right? Second yes. Second was seed. playing Victor yesterday. Uh, they were having these rally rally style games, and that's when it got to a game on 17-7 up for Victor. <coughs> then Sankir started playing more aggressively, uh, smashing at that. Obviously, you don't always have the opportunity to smash whenever you want, but you got to make it happen if you're going to lose otherwise. Yeah. I think one thing that uh, Jason should try here, which uh, St. Kirth was doing well at the end of the second game yesterday, is really challenging in that flat game. Victor uh, is, has a bit of a tendency to, to block most things, so you can sometimes put a lot of pressure on the drives and move forward. Well, he is dialed in, though, with that rear court right now. <laughs> I think if I'm, a, if I'm a Jason fan, I'm hoping Victor doesn't have the the other side of the court dialed in as well. So yeah. he's picking corners like that from the other side. Exactly. Let's see if we had a lift accuracy competition. I think Victor's poised to take that one. Would be the judging whether it's going in or out as well. Looks like he's doing pretty good at that too. Yeah. <laughs> 19 10. See there's challenging the flat and he gets a lift. Didn't capitalize. Are we gonna see a smash now? Oof. Oh, good shot. But though. he's got that all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice finish there. Yeah. It's more initiative, though, right? That's what you want to see. You can tell when you're watching who's the leader, right? Like who's the one making making a go like this? Who's the one making it happen? And if you can't tell and it's kind of even, then that's what we're saying <coughs> is is favoring Victor. So. Jason needs to be the leader here, dictating play. That's how he won his first uh, national championship. Yeah, so just like this. See, this is what we need. Victor knows this as well, of course. It's not stupid, so he's going to be aware that Jason's going to try and take more initiative. And in order to avoid that happening, he's got to also try and take stuff earlier at the net so he isn't just lifting. Bird from another court. Distracting our guys here for a second. You know, there's more on the line 
And that's a better uh, flat play there. There's more on the line here than uh, it seems because, um, you know, it's not just a national title they're vying for here, but really it's who is the top dog in Canadian men's singles, right? There's Brian Yang, who's, who's not here, who's, in my opinion, the clear number one at the moment, seconded. And then uh, you have maybe these two who are fighting for um, number two and then trying to yeah. uh, get up there with Brian, right? So it's not just the national title, it's also uh, maybe some internal dynamics as well. And when Team Canada goes to team events, you know, and then we got have to make selections of who's going to play what. Yep. Lots of ramifications. I feel like Victor could have uh, maybe charged forward a little more on that first one, but maybe he's hesitant after Jason's been lifting a couple of the smashes. He also knows it's, it, or he knows it was 1914 as well, right? So he doesn't have to go crazy here trying to mm -hmm. counter Jason's better play. He's finish line is in sight, 15-20 now. That's a good point. Probably just stay the course for the remainder of this game anyway. That was not great. So the shuttle, oh. The shuttle came from the nearby court, you could see. Umpire didn't notice. They played on for about five or six shots. We, of course, noticed. <laughs> and then our job, though. Victor, I guess that's why the umpire didn't call a let, is because they had continued on for about five or six shots, and then Victor said decided to stop. Technically, it should be a let as soon as the umpire noticed, but maybe he was, you know, busy paying attention to this match and yeah. didn't see it. Victor should be careful here. He doesn't want that to let that get to him. Still has four game points. Yeah. Just throw that out of your mind. 16-20. Get this one. I think I twitched a little bit of my seat on that quick so. Looking better for Jason now. This is a more kind of scrappy rally that I think. Uh, I'm going to abandon that thought. <laughs> I think, though, that, that challenging in the flat game is a better way to take initiative than trying to out rally and out place uh, Victor. So if you watch Sandy here, it kind of looks like he's saying what uh, I was suggesting. He's making some hand motions forward. Looks like uh, he's talking about the flat game. Saying to push forward. Challenging that flat game. Harder to read Victor's coach. Say looks like he's saying to be ready for the back forehand corner. He's giving him some uh, mental advice as well. Keep him calm. On court three, we have the uh, boys, boys Devils U15 final. We have Oliver Chen and Ricky Tao versus Lance Lee and Ferdinand Simmons Zhang. Currently going to the third game. We're back here with the uh, Med Singles final. Second game, Victor one game to the good. Let's see what kind of adjustments uh, Hoshu can make to try and turn this around.
may have looked like an unforced error, but Jason really took it early at the net. Puts a lot more pressure on, on Victor. Great depth. No mop to, s to wipe that sweat up. Jason doing the best he can with his feet. These courts are very grippy, but the second uh, drop of sweat gets on it, it's very slippery. It actually, be quite dangerous. So it's good that he's wiping that up. And Victor took that early. Anticipated that drop shot coming. He's very ready for it. wide. <coughs> we did try and counter attack. Just didn't work out this time. And that's better from Gibson. Really trying to encroach on the net there. Aggressively returning everything that Victor plays to the front court. there. Yeah, you know one thing we're not really seeing is that explosiveness from Jason. I think it's these small deceptions that Victor Lai is doing with his lifts that are uh, making a little bit, uh, Victor, or Jason hesitate just a little bit that he's unable to jump up there. This is fast now. Yeah, this is very fast. Oh. For a quick towel there, Victor. Think he's tired? Maybe Mom that pace might have affected him a little bit. Like momentarily. Maybe catch his breath. Or he could just have a little bit of sweat on his hand. He is using towel grip. Beep test, that would be another uh, physical event I'd like to see. <laughs> Who is the strongest out of everybody here? I did hear uh, they did that with Team Canada. Okay, yeah. Victor Lai got first. Well, thank you for that this information. This is a rumor. I don't know if this is, <laughs> I heard okay. it was 14 something. <laughs> that is pretty good. But then again, Bamton is not exactly a beep test. Ooh. A little bit of frustration coming out on that kill there from Jason, I feel like. <laughs> one good way to get it out though while winning a point the best way hit that shuttle like it owed him money on court four is our girls doubles u13 final Caitlin Lai Adele Lane Olivia Gow Simmons Zane <laughs> of course, there are sponsorship deals that one can take and uh, funding.
that's a shame for Jason. He knew that next shot was coming, but uh, had so much spin on it. Yeah. Credit to Victor that even though he was there and knew it was coming, he wasn't able to kill it. If you want to kill a net shot like that, you basically have to catch it at the very top of the tape. And you're probably going to only get feather with how much spin that had. That's your best hope. Victor's nets have been looking very good this match. seen him miss one quite like that. Yeah, I agree, actually. Another error. It's forcing that down, right? It's, it's not giving Jason a lot of time on that lift. And I think Jason really wants to play those angles, but he's unable to there. right on the sideline, I think. Gave Victor a little bit of second thoughts on whether or not he should take that. And when he decided to, that indecision cost him. You have to think that experience might come into play here at some point. Jason has been here many times. Oh, that's a good one. Look out if he starts feeling it, right? And he's like, slices and attacking shots. Yeah. And if you notice the difference there, he really jumped up. And he got that birdie at a great angle. Shots, blocks, hoping for Jason to cross it back. Just peppering his backhand corner, Jason. <laughs> there on uh, Victor's lift. Darren Yee deemed that his racket touched the net as he lifted that shuttle up. If you notice in that rally, uh, pretty much every shot to Jason's backhand side was uh, a little bit of deception on it. Maybe had him on the back foot a little bit. Right, quite a few, he was kind of sent in the wrong direction, but he recovered really nicely. Pressure. Jason really uh, imposing himself at the net there. He was staying so close, knowing that Victor doesn't want to live. But of course, Victor into trying to play a perfect net shot. When you're trying to play a perfect shot, it usually doesn't go the greatest. back line and uh, Jason is up 11 out of interval. And that's a product of the last rally as well, right? Like that they were just at the net in the same exact place where Victor's net shot didn't go over. So obviously maybe in the front of his mind and also subconsciously he doesn't want to recreate that. So then he goes for the lift. Jason can be ready for the lift because he's aware of this as well. And kind of got him another point, his presence at the net on the previous one.
court three, we just had the conclusion of the under 15 boys doubles national final. Ricky Tao, Oliver Chen, the number one seeds. They took it 21-14 in the third and decided game over Lance Lee. I believe that's Oliver's second title of the day. Ferdinand Sang. Yeah, he took the singles as well. Nice work, Oliver. Congratulations to all of our finalists and champions. It's a bit of a uh, hesitant looking shot from Victor Laine. His body language shows that maybe he's a little, uh, he's quite upset with himself on that. a little breathing room. This is the good side. If you had to pick one, you've got that nice blue curtain there behind you, or in front of you, I mean, and uh, as opposed to Victor, who's looking at a crowd of parents and competitors. And so not as ideal uh, lighting circumstance. Victor's vision, that also plays a little bit of a role, but you get used to it as you play through the tournament. And if this goes to three games, that means uh, Jason will also finish on this side. So that is an advantage as well. That's out. Especially when he's on this side, I feel like Victor could try and smash a little bit harder. I agree. This this match is looking like it's going to be tied, and I feel like Jason is very comfortable returning uh, Victor smashes. It's those slices that are really getting him some getting him some points. But if he could add in a couple harder smashes which I think is well within his means, uh, just to add some more variety than make it a little tougher on Jason in the defense. So at least he stopped the run of points. So hit this one harder. But that's so slow. Yeah, it's a bit odd. Now Jason's feeling it. You can see he's got his... his uh, swagger going that he likes to have on court. <laughs> yeah, when Jason's exuding confidence, it's uh, normally not fun for the opponent. Another misfire from Victor. And this game looks like it's going to be gone. It's quite a remarkable turnaround from looking like he had no answers in that first game up until probably halfway th until this interval. Should be said though, it's always interesting to think about kind of how well this person is playing based on their, their typical level. I feel like, that's wild. I feel like in the <laughs> first game, uh, Victor was playing, I would say to his full potential. Yeah. And 95% of his full potential at least. Whereas in the first game, I feel like Jason was can what percentage of his full potential? Like 80, maybe? 80, yep. Sure. So obviously, I'm not trying to say silly things, like <laughs> playing better means you play better, but <laughs> the second game now, it looks like Jason was playing to a better percentage of his abilities. Yeah, just changing his racket. Uh, he broke about five strings in that last smash. When the players have it at such high uh, tension, it's quite easy to break strings. Uh, if you have the slightest miss hit, if you're not aware, there is a uh, what we call a sweet spot on the racket where you want to hit it. Yes. Give himself some encouraging words there, Jason. 
That's good. You know, one thing that's changed in this match is that Hoshu is uh, dominating the net now. Not necessarily killing Richter's net shots, but, you know. Richter's lifting a lot more. Yes, exactly. That is wild, though. So, you might wonder <coughs> what we're still doing here at 12-18. Since this game looks like it's going to be gone. So what's to be had here in the next couple minutes? Well, if I were Victor, I would try and play myself back into this a little more, right? Even if you just win three more points, at least it boosts your confidence a little bit. You have a little bit better rallies. You know, you, you hit maybe a winner or two, or you, you take it to, to Jason, right? You don't go with the, with the Fizz here. If you can get to like 15, then you would maybe feel like the momentum is almost even, right? Yeah, But exactly. if he, he drops this next point, like Jason's on a run of points. I don't know, I haven't been keeping track, but like 10 of the last 12 points or something like that. Yeah, and, uh, and if you're Jason, you really want to try and crush Victor's spirits, right? You don't want to give him any other points. So don't get complacent. And oh, look at Jason having fun now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, again, that's not how you <laughs> that's not how you want Jason to be playing if you're, if you're trying to be like he's having, having lots of fun out there and doing whatever he feels like doing. <laughs> that's usually a bad sign for you. left for you today is the exciting conclusion of this men's singles final we should have another hopefully another half hour of of action here and then i believe everybody will be rested and ready for the mixed doubles final which will be our last match of the day linda min Wu, kevin lee jacqueline chung i want to take this opportunity to uh thank all the volunteers that made this week happen all these line judges here are volunteers the uh, staff that are working to make this a reality. We have a lot of great people working the front desk, making sure all the athletes have what they need. Um, the staff, staff here at Millennium Place been very welcoming and, and fantastic. And also I want to give a big shout out to the uh, tournament referee, referees, plural I should say, uh, the tournament uh, officials as well. Um, we have quite a few umpires that are here for this week and the next week as well, taking uh, their time off to, to do this and come here and support Canadian Badminton. That is not an easy job. You sit in that chair for, on, on the first few days of the tournament especially, like 10 plus hours. Yeah. And there's pressure. There's pressure on you. There's no Hawkeye here. If you don't know what Hawkeye is, it's the uh, instant, uh, I guess, replay instant review system yeah. for line calls, yeah? Yeah, so if there's a, uh, earlier on in the tournament, there was no line judges either, right? So players were, were making their own calls, so if there's a, a dispute, yeah, then, then it's hard to know, right? Okay, so we're ready. Third game action here. See who will become the Canadian national champion. Prediction. Let me see how this first rally goes. That's cheating. You <laughs> can say no. Okay. Uh, I would say Jason if he plays how he was playing. I'll take Victor. It's a good start from Victor. There we go. He's playing a bit quicker now. More initiative. Probably trying to build his confidence back up. I imagine his coach told him to not be complacent. Oh, wow. wow. I, was gonna <laughs> say, I was gonna say, wow, that's a great net shot. About Jason's net shot. Yeah. And it's like. Say, wow, that's a better net shot. Yeah, it's like a score in a video game. It's just like, when a nice net shot happens, you're like, wow. And then a nice one happens, like combo bonus. It's so good. <laughs> Jason firing out. Yeah. It's wow. Oh. <laughs> 
the physical damage on that uh, net kill. Yeah, nice <laughs> little bit of personality there from Victor pretending it hurt yeah. so much. Yeah, that's funny. So Victor at 17 here is trying to take a title. Jason won his first senior national title in 2016 when he was 17. He also won 2017 and 2018 and 2020. So he's trying to Let's get four to last five. Yeah, my right? He's trying to finish it up, get the fifth ring here today. Wow, that's a good spin. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Commentator and line judge Brandon Redekop over here. My bad, my bad. <laughs> professional line judge had to make the call. So. Good recovery. That net is so good. That lift is so good too. Wow. <laughs> the combo bonus. I'm, I'm running out of things to say here. <laughs> I should do better than so good, so good, so good. The lift was maybe, it looked like only a couple inches below the net ceiling that we have, which obviously would be a fault if you hit it. Mm -hmm. That is just a great change of pace from Victor. A little bit more sauce on the smash there. I was asking for. Yeah. That little extra bit of pace surprised Jason. Yeah, pace of movement as well, right? Very explosive there. Service fault called for the racket. is happening right now is there's a bit of a is fusion among the officials yes so with the device the service device that we have right there I'm not sure what Jason's going off the grid. with the service device that we have there that means the shuttle has to be struck below 1.15 meters mm -hmm. the thing is with that rule in place and that device there which is what we're using there is no um, rule for the racket having to be pointing down anymore the racket can point up if you hit the shuttle under 1.15 meters. Interesting, I actually did not know that. So I think there's just a little confusion there about what a service fault is called. So off we go. Something you don't see often in singles. Mm. Wow. <laughs> nice there from Victor. It's good he didn't let that phase him too much. Phase him though. I don't know what's going on. Wow. might seem silly to say or sound silly to hear but I feel like uh, watching 17 year old Victor Lai play 17 year old Jason Hoshu would be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah I'd I think Victor Lai would win. That. I, I agree as well. well. I mean look at it now. Right? <laughs> yeah that's why I mean yeah. it might sound silly but I feel like uh, 17 year old Jason was, was no slouch you know like there yeah. might have been aspects of, of his course. game or his exuberance and aggressiveness that Perhaps would have even worked better when he mm -hmm. was then versus yeah. this victory line, but of course we can't do that. Jason uh, taking the strapping off his knee there. Powering up, maybe. Reduce the drag. <laughs> Ooh, too much reduction in drag. <laughs> May have lost it in the light there. The lights are pretty bright. They're pretty small, though. So it's not often that the shuttle's coming down. Yeah. In that in that airspace, but yeah, there's never a perfect lighting situation in Bamford. Thank you. 
flat. Got away with it though. So earlier I mentioned briefly about Jason relifting mm -hmm. when Victor was smashed, he would lift it again. I don't think that works against Jason so much. Yeah, I agree. He's ready to pounce back up there and hit it even harder than he did the first time. Yeah, he's spring-loaded, that guy. You know, I think a couple times here, Jason has hit one to Victor's front court backhand side. And it's pretty clear he's going to hit a net shot. And then Jason doesn't do anything. I think he could go for a really hard read and uh, kill a net shot. Lyric Soup, Ricky Tao, Catherine Payne. Umpire Juliana. Server says Adrian on court three. Could have been a kill, maybe. Lots of net battle there. <coughs> Sometimes we do see more kills, like you're saying. But you don't want to overcommit, right? And then they lift it and you're super late to go back. It's that fine line. Good job of Jason. Good job from Jason to close. It's 4 7, if not 3 7. Now we're back to 6. So right there, you could have pounced on that. You would have, right? <laughs> That's why I'm sitting in the commentary booth right now. <laughs> Easier said than done. Great rally from Victor. He hasn't hit a lot of winners in this match, but no better time than in the third game. I'll tell you that. in now. So pretty soon, if one of these guys is more fit than the other one, we're going to find out. Let's see if that deep test score comes into effect. Victor. Victor's coach here is saying, all right, we've been playing a little bit under the level that, that we need and have had here for the last Maybe five minutes, and you're tied. So don't worry about it. Let's turn up now. Sooner than later. See, that's the type of play I expected from Jason. Yeah, these really are the getting up there. Yeah, sorry, these are the explosive rallies. Shorter. That's what you want for Jason, right? Yeah. Good return. Back to that same exact corner. He's not afraid. Could also be mentioned that Victor has the better side right now, so he would have be hoping to open up some sort of lead. That's a good point. And it's not happened. Oh, it's a bit of a loose kill. He went around the head. Victor's playing with a lot of margin over the net right now. Many, many shots to finish a rally where he could have won this round. After the final match has been played, medal presentation will be in. Thank you. So here we are, 10 9. Victor wants to change the, or sorry, Jason wants to change the shuttle. Victor says no thanks. a good time to relift. You gotta kill those. Yeah, kind of fortunate. Oh. Well, okay. Apparently can. <laughs> I 
don't know. I was going to say, if you don't kill those ones, this is like third to fourth last shots of the rally, then it's going to be trouble. But he found his way to do it, and he's up 11-9. He's got 10 points to go here to take his first Open Nationals title. At least Just 10. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I'd like 30-29 as much as anybody. <laughs> Has he won Junior Nationals before? I would imagine so. And we can, uh, All right, you entertain the people. I'm going to check. OK. <laughs> oh, only 20 more seconds to get that coaching advice in. Umpire asking the coach to walk, step away. OK, well, in 2019, at Junior Nationals, Victor Lai won the under 17 age category. <laughs> Just a reminder of how young he is. Uh, yeah. Where did he play in that final, Brandon? Played Ivan Lee. In, 2020, in 2020, Victor did not attend the national championships. Interesting. Ooh, does not like that line call. Apologizes right away, though. Disappointed, but well mannered. Oh, a little bit of a hop on court, shake the nerves out. See, if you're Victor at this moment, you don't want to be thinking about, I could be the national champion. I'm this close. I could do it, right? You, you don't want to be thinking like that because then you can you have to run the risk of. Think about the end result and not each point at a time. You want to will yourself to believe that you can do it. Yeah, think about the process. And that's way easier said than done if you haven't played sports at some kind of level. When you're out there and you're getting close to winning, it's so hard to not think about how close to winning. Yeah. you got to remember that Jason's been here before, right? So it's maybe it's not as hard. Didn't go over. <laughs> Great attempt. <laughs> yeah. Many little things that might decide this match. One of them could be that. Jason, four times he's done this. Several of them very close matches, right? Yep. 2020 comes to mind. I'm very disappointed with that one. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's that. Yeah, he needs to shake it off. It's only one point he's down. Thank you. That wasn't wasn't that promising here, but my prediction that round. Jason seems very confident in this round. Yeah, he can sense his blood in the water now. He's going for it. Big cheer as well. Victor taking some time, to extra time to speak with his coach. This is better. Nice. But that one I think is too slow. I agree. Because he, he did that net. That such a nice net shot, right? Got the lift. Big high one. It wasn't wasn't perfect. It wasn't bad either. But then he just kind of 80% smashed it in. And, and they kept yeah. on playing. And his advantage that he had built with the great net play was for naught. I think he needs to let that one rip. Yes. Get some of those nerves out, too. I'm sure they're jangling right now. There we go. Oh, man. Are we good or what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can hear us, Brandon. Let's go. Send it, young man. <laughs> Don't hold back now. Yeah, the worst feeling is playing and knowing you didn't do everything you could. Wow. Unbelievable defense. Found oh. the weak spot. He's listening to the live stream. Let's 
Someone check. Does he have a headphone in? <laughs> Still down one, though, because of that period where he was playing a little passively. Yeah. But in a great position still. Oh. Okay. He just slipped, but he's all right. I think I would, or him, I would still try and attack Jason's backhand side. He just won three rallies on that. Yeah. And he ma made two errors uh, trying to go for the line on that. Other side. Jason trying to make this as much like doubles as he can. This looks good for him. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a little surprising, actually. Yeah. Jason did play doubles at this tournament, but uh, lost in the quarterfinal, like we were saying earlier. Which was the biggest upset of the tournament, in our opinion. It's a good opinion. <laughs> strong opinion, it's strong. 15 16, here we go. This is huge. Obviously, all these points now are huge, but especially the ones where it can be tied or two point lead is a big, a big swing. Wow. Good spot, that right hip. Works so well. All right. Since the the energy in the crowd here, we've got hundreds of people watching. So I'm sure it's, it's great to see. Wow. So who has the nerve, Brandon? Who has the nerve? Uh, I'll tell you in 10 minutes. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's a battle for the net now. Yeah, I get the feeling this is going to... I don't want to jinx it, but... <laughs> might go all the way. <laughs> Good pressure. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Always a bit of a showman, Hoshu on court. Doing for the fans. Yeah. Here we go, 1917. Oh. He knows how close he is now. Yeah, I was just a bit unlucky. If I'm uh, Victor Shoes, did everything right. Yeah, he played well there, really. Ice in his veins is good. Wow. All right, let's see it. What do we got here? Good depth. Showmanship wasn't a little too early there. Make him wait. Server turn. Great lift though. Oh. 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 Good 
keep on the crowd standing on their feet for Jason. Richter was there early, took it real early, but it just, yeah. his fingers were a little bit too tight, bounced up way too high. Match point now. Fouling down. Sometimes this is used to throw off your opponent's momentum. Rhythm. Give yourself a breather. See him hit the floor here shortly if he can take this point. He's gone. All the way down to the end of the gym. Yeah, Jason with the victory. Running out of the camera view. <laughs> Always has some entertaining celebrations. Well deserved. What a match. Spare thought for Victor Lai. No doubt has an unbelievable future ahead of him. And this match just shows that the number two Canadian men's singles player position is, is uh, up for grabs still, right? Very close between these two. Jason joking around about throwing his racket into the crowd for the fans. Big smiles from the coaching team here. That's five.